Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to manage the orders for your Shopify store if it's a drop shipping store. This is gonna make it super, super easy. This is what we use for one of our stores and it's fantastic, okay? You're going to be using this template here. I'll leave a link in the description to access this template. It basically allows you to see all the information for all the orders that come into your store and how to actually send them out to your supplier. It allows you to also track the profit margin and how much money you're actually making from these orders. It's absolutely fantastic. The good thing is it's fully automated. We're going to be using a software called Zapier. I'll put a link down below. You'll be able to use the free version. This covers up to 100 orders per month. Above that, there's the paid version. I use the paid version all the time. I actually automate so much of my businesses with Zapier. It saved me hundreds and hundreds of hours of time. So I do recommend that, but you know, go check it out for yourself. It depends on how you actually use it. Let me explain what we're actually gonna do here and how this works. So imagine here, you've got your Shopify store and you're getting all these orders. It's fantastic. Sometimes it can be really frustrating to actually organize and make sure they get sent to the right dropshipping supplier. And of course, in Shopify, there's a feature that allows you to automatically send out the emails to the suppliers. But especially if you're doing high ticket and you wanna send out these emails by yourself at the start, but even just track that you've paid each one individually, this does that for you with this sheet. So what it does, you've got all these orders coming in. Well, you've got this Google sheet over here. This is the CRM that allows you to track all the orders and allows you to then send out the payments to the supplier, as well as the orders, confirm it's been done, and then send out the product, or the supplier is gonna then send out the product to the actual customer. The big thing we need to do in this video is create this link between these two. You're going to be able to create this yourself. I'm gonna give you the exact template that I use, but then with Zapier, we're going to actually create the link between these two softwares. And this is exactly what Zapier does. Zapier allows you to connect two softwares, like, Shopify and Google Sheets, Shopify and Slack, Shopify and anything. Like you can connect so many different pieces of software together to actually send messages and send data and automate so much of your business. First, I want you to go to the sheet in the description. I'll leave a link down there. You can access it yourself totally free and go to file, make a copy. This is so, so important. What I want you to do then is just name it, whatever you wanna name it, and then save it in your own Google Drive. If you don't do this, you won't be able to use this template. I'm only giving you view access to this template here. Once you have that ready, you're then going to go to sign up for Zapier. I'll leave a link in the description. And once you sign up, you'll see this main dashboard here. Now we're going to create the link between Shopify and the Google Sheet. Okay, so we're gonna click make a zap here. We're gonna search for Shopify. There it is. Now we're gonna create the event. This is when the actual new order is created in that CRM, the actual Google Sheet. So we're gonna click new order. So anytime a new order happens, this is the trigger for this automation. Click continue. It's gonna ask you to choose your Shopify account. You're gonna to have to sign in as well. It's already signed in for me because I use this all the time. Click save and continue. Test trigger. It's then going to pull a test order from your store. Click continue. Now we're going to choose the action. This is what actually happens when you get a new order for your Shopify store. So we're just gonna to go to Google Sheets because that's exactly what we're using. Google Sheets and the action is create a spreadsheet row. Click continue. Awesome, it's now gonna ask you to choose which account. So I'm just gonna choose my account, save and continue. It's then gonna ask you to pull in the right drive. I've only got one drive. And then the sheet, which um, here, you just wanna search for your one. So how to manage orders, CRM, template, key commerce, whatever you named it, if you kept the same name, that's totally fine. The worksheet, there's only one worksheet here called CRM. That is down the bottom here, see it says CRM. Go back here. And now what we're doing here is we're telling Zapier, which column equals which part of the order. So see how this is all here, the order number, email, all that sort of stuff, it's already pulled in. That's what we wanna do and tell it which one is assigned to which column. Just follow exactly what I do here. The order number is just going to be the first one, name. It's gonna have the actual order number there. The date, that's going to be updated at. So just search just like I searched and click that one, updated at, there it is right there. The name, this is gonna be the name of the person. So I'll put in the first name, space, and then put in the last name. The next one's going to be the email. That's super easy. There it is. The address, this is where we actually pull in the shipping address for this customer. So let's just put, they just go through, and then I can put a comma, 
Sydney, comma, New South Wales, comma, oh, and then the postcode, the zip code. So that's all in there like that. The contact number, that's just gonna be shipping, address, phone. The order price is going to be total price. The shipping price is going to be shipping lines price. The total customer price is what the customer pays apart from shipping, which is going to be total line items price. There it is right there. The link to the order. This is a link to the actual order so that you can access it later. It makes it really, really easy. The order contents is the actual contents of the order. Pulls it in like that brilliantly. That's everything we need. Now that that's done, we're gonna fill these in manually ourselves in the actual sheet. So leave them all empty because we're not gonna automate those. Save and continue. It's now setting it up. It's now going to test this out. So test and continue. Now you just go back to your sheet and you'll see there it is. That's the, there it is right there. That's the row that we just created automatically. So that just sent a test row straight through and there it is and like i said these ones are empty so we're going to add these in manually you're going to look at your own costs like how much are you paying your supplier maybe it's the same amount for every single product that you have so for this one say for example it's going to cost 200 dollars, and then say 50 dollars in shipping that then you can just get this this is a formula drag this down it gets the total cogs which means cost of goods sold i talk about this in other videos cost of goods sold that's basically how much you pay your supplier then got supplier name here. So this is the same one, Newton's factory. Um, this one's been paid, but this one hasn't. So that's there right now. These columns here are formulas that allow you to just paste this down and it's gonna actually find out the actual profit, the gross profit and the profit margin right there. I have a video on how to calculate your profit margin. I'll put a link to that below. This plays into this a little bit, but this for this one here, I only just use an example amount, but that made the profit, the gross profit 10%. So now that we have that added in, we need to go back to our Zap and then click turn on Zap. This is then going to turn it on. So now it's active, awesome. So it's gonna run every time there's an order, it's gonna automatically paste that here, okay? It's gonna be super, super helpful. It may take 10 to 15 minutes depending on what tier, what plan you're on for Zapier, but now it means that if you have a VA, it makes it really easy for them to manage it. So what we do is every time there's an order, we get notified via email or another notification that we set up, and then we know that automatically, okay, here's all the details, let's now send this to our supplier. So we have an automated thing, so it automatically sends an email, and once we pay, we just, type in yes, it's paid, it notifies in the system. And then we also like to put a link to the invoice in this one here. So we'll upload it to Google Drive and then link there so it's all saved. So when we do our accounting later, it's all really easy to, 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 to see and track. And then we put the actual invoice number from the actual supplier as well, just that we can have that in there. And then once it's delivered, we'll mark it as delivered so it's all there. This works really well for us um, because we're doing a lot of high ticket sort of sales. Um, and you know, generally we're not having tens of thousands of orders per month. Um, so it allows some sort of manual uh, work here, which is what we actually like so to make sure it's high touch and we get stuff done. And if there's any variations for the products with our actual supplier. So guys, that's how you set up the CRM for your store. Once that's set up, that's gonna be automated and you can use this to actually manage your orders going forward. You can also easily click this link and go into the actual store uh, dashboard. It's gonna be really, really helpful as well for that order if you need to check anything or edit anything. Um, this is what we do as well and you'll be able to see here the actual profit, which is really helpful. So you can select all of these and it's gonna tell you, oh, we've made a thousand bucks. That's awesome, great work. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If it was helpful, please let me know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos. I'll leave a link to the one about the profit margin calculation below. That's gonna be super helpful for you guys. Bit of a different video, but I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.